dissertation research. It was about the um, history of uh, radio broadcasting in the Philippines during the American colonial period. Okay? Um, you have to understand that um, we suffered a lot of destruction during the Second World War. And uh, part of the casualty were our national archives and our own national archives and national library. And uh, since my interest was broadcasting, radio uh, stations at that time, Lapang TV no, no? Um, uh, they were all destroyed also. So there were no records but uh, that were kept here or very, very little. And uh, what little uh, uh, there was were kept uh, mostly in, in private collections. No? And I needed official records. Um, that was the, the archival research that I needed for, for my dissertation. And I knew I could find it in the United States. Uh, like I said, we were a colony of the United States at that time. And all the official records here in the Philippines had copies in, in Washington, D.C. See? So uh, that was preserved while our copies were destroyed. Most of them, anyway. You know? so, so that was the reason why I needed to do my research in the United States. Okay, in the in, in my senior Fulbright uh, grant, I needed to go back to the same source, but this time working on the uh, the Japanese period. Okay, again the same principle operated. The United States, being involved in the Second World War, was keeping track of everything that was going on that was related to the war. Uh, the other thing that was very interesting, in particular to my line of uh, to my my interest now my research interest is that the United States uh, monitored uh, radio stations that were uh, operating during the Second World War, including radio stations that were operating in the Philippines no? and they had a lot of records pertaining to these to these uh, broadcasts and that was what I was after. <music> I gave a couple of lectures uh, in the because the second time around, I actually got uh, um, I was was given a research position, in fact, a, a faculty position uh, at the University of Maryland, you know, like a visiting faculty, and so uh, they gave me space in the in the um, library there. They have uh, they have the archives of American broadcasting, the University of Maryland, you no. Know? It was. It's coincidentally. It's. It is actually the, the the home of the archives of American broadcasting, and they have a, a whole building dedicated to broadcasting. Isn't that neat? And so um, when when um, when um, Fulbright was looking for for an affiliation for me, they asked the University of Maryland to, to take me uh, to take me in, and they did. And so I actually had an office in the library at the University of Maryland. Uh, and then, uh, in return, I, I gave a couple of lectures uh, before two classes, and I also uh, gave a talk before a a, uh, um, a group of librarians. Actually, the, the, they have an assembly of librarians because it's a large university, and and uh, they have a large group of librarians. And so, I talked about uh, the research work that I was doing and how the library was was benefiting my, my research and, and coincidentally also their archives because they do have a very large collection so that was, uh, that was useful to me. <laughs>